Good evening. My childhood dream was to be a park ranger. Like many kids in Africa, I grew up surrounded by animals. And I took it for granted that we'd, we would always have animals around us. But the heartbreaking reality is that every year, poachers gun down 35,000 elephants. 35,000. That's more than the entire number of elephants in Kenya. At this rate, we could lose elephants within our lifetimes. Elephant poaching is like murder. It devastates elephant populations and elephant families and societies, and it often leaves traumatized orphan babies in its wake. At Wildlife Direct, we launched the Hands Off Our Elephants campaign to inspire Kenyans to fall in love with elephants so that they would help to secure the future of these magnificent animals. Elephants are really important to our economy in Kenya, but they're also vital to our heritage and a very important part of our identity as Africans. Many government, government agencies and organizations are doing vital work to combat poaching. At Wildlife Direct, we've taken this fight to the courtrooms. Poachers now face life imprisonment, and already several people are in jail, Kenyan jails. But we're not really getting the real criminals, the ivory trafficking cartels. These syndicates are involved in international crimes and organized crimes. They are trafficking narcotics. They're doing money laundering. And they're involved in terrorism. To win this war, we really have to be fearless. and We have to be ready to go after corruption. And we are making progress. With the support of the government, the Chief Justice and the Director of Public Prosecutions, for the first time, we now have 35 wildlife prosecutors specifically to address this problem. We've also introduced a national program to train our magistrates, prosecutors and investigators on wildlife crime. While we might win the battle in Kenya, we know that the war will not be won until we address the demand in Asia. Really, the main thing we have to do is to persuade China to, and other Asian countries to ban the domestic trade in ivory. Three people have been really central to the success of this campaign. My very good friend, Helen Gibbons, who helped develop the strategy that we've been using. Her Excellency, Margaret Kenyatta, a matriarch, a woman whose courage really inspires me that, to believe that nothing is impossible so long as you believe in it. And Richard Leakey, who demanded so much more of me since that first day when I knocked on his door and said I wanted to be a ranger. I know that what unites all of us in this room is that none of us want our kids to grow up in a world without elephants. And like many of my colleagues that you've just heard from, our work is sometimes thankless, it can be heartbreaking and dangerous, but we do it anyway. And I do it because I believe that millions of people around the world, especially children, deserve to delight in elephants, just the way I did when I was a child. Thank you.